But regardless of which fighter you're going towards, I recommend taking them to win inside of the distance. Both of these guys are absolute finishers. What's going on guys? Rowan from Covers here with my favorite picks and predictions for the two title fights at UFC 274 on May the 7th. Should be an absolute banger of a card. Headline event is a lightweight title bout between Charles Oliveira and Justin Gaethje. Oliveira is the favorite at minus 175. Gaethje coming back at about plus 135. I am leaning towards the current title holder at the moment. Oliveira is on a 10-fight winning streak. Really impressive submission victory against Dustin Poirier in his last time out. Uh, I think his uh, submissions and his jiu-jitsu are going to be a little bit too much for Gaethje. Uh, I think he can hold his own in the striking exchanges. We've seen that in his last few fights where he's been very resilient, come back from like really taking really tough shots. Uh, he's very dangerous with his Muay Thai now, great with his elbows and knees uh, up close. And then when the fight gets uh, to the mat, uh, he's a completely different animal, absolutely able to take it over at any time. Uh, so I'm leaning towards him, but regardless of which fighter you're going towards, I recommend taking them to win inside of the distance. Both of these guys are absolute finishers. 12 of Oliveira's last 13 victories have come inside of the distance. So I'm betting them to win inside of the distance, which you can get at about minus 105. The other title fight on the card, strawweight title bout uh, between Rose Namajunas and Carla Esparza. This is actually a rematch of the inaugural UFC women's strawweight title between these two all the way back in 2014. Esparza won that one with some dominant wrestling, uh, eventually won it with a submission. Uh, a lot has changed since then. Uh, Thug Rose was just 22 at the time. She's obviously evolved a lot as a striker. Uh, she's a very good submission uh, specialist in her own right. Uh, and she's the title holder right now. So, I mean, that's why she's the favorite. She opened at minus 170. She's now sitting at about minus 215. Uh, but at the same time, I think Esparza has a really good chance in this one. I think she's definitely a live dog. Uh, as good as uh, Nami Yunus has become, I still am not convinced that her defensive wrestling is that great. In her last bout, she was taken down five times by uh, Wiley Zhang. Uh, that's identical to the five times she was taken down by Esparza the first time they faced off. Esparza is very relentless with her wrestling, really good in terms of top pressure and control, and she's really showing improved ground and pound as well. I think she is able to grind out the victory in this one. I really like her odds here. Uh, public money really pushed this line uh, towards Thug Rose, but I think uh, I think Esparza has a real good chance, and with, uh, with that line on her moving to about plus 165, I like the betting value there. So those are my two picks for the title fights in this card. Uh, check out covers.com. We've got picks and previews for all the fights on the main card, as well as one really good fight on the prelims. Check it out at covers.com. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.